And joining us this morning is Dr. Samuel Pierce, president of the American Ophthalmic, uh, Optometric Association. Thanks for joining us. And we think about sunglasses during the summertime at the beach, but we also have a, we need to use them during the wintertime as well because the sun can be just as strong. Uh, absolutely. In fact, the UV radiation is greater in winter months, uh, especially at elevations with fresh snow. You have 50% more radiation at elevation, and 80% of the rays are reflected off of fresh snow. So a lot of potential damage to the eyes if you're not wearing adequate protection. So how does where you live actually affect that? Do different parts of the country, other than elevation like you mentioned? Well, anywhere the sun is shining, there's UV. And you always need to wear adequate protection. But certainly in the uh, elevations with, with snow and people out, just snow on the sidewalks, shoveling, uh, are exposed to a lot of radiation and potential damage to the eyes. You can actually get sunburn on, the, on your corneas, on the outer surface of the eyes. Very painful. Oh, wow. And uh, so you always need to wear adequate protection, including uh, sunscreen to, protect, uh, to help protect against uh, the potential for uh, skin cancers around the eyelids. Okay, what about things like wind? Are you also worry about wind this time? of the year on our eyes? Absolutely, especially when you're engaged in winter sports like snowboarding, skiing, even hiking through the woods and trails. And so a lot of the eyewear now offer protection, have special screens around the edges, uh, a pair like that that actually blocks out the wind. Mm -hmm. And here's a pair of ski goggles. You can right. see this, the screens around the edges to help protect uh, from wind damage because the wind can cause the eyes to tear and water and uh, can blur your vision and make it difficult to navigate. That happens to me all the time. I just Absolutely. start crying in the winter I when it's so cold. I thought that's because you're working with me. That's where you're crying. Well, oh, no, that's it's, a it's different the wind. issue. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about some of these sunglasses because they're not all created the same. You mentioned, right. you know, the size that really helps protect a lot. But how, when you're shopping for sunglasses, what should you be looking for besides that? The most important thing is make sure the lenses have adequate protection. You want lenses that block out 99 to 100 percent of the UVA and UVB rays, and they should be marked on the on the label on the product. Uh, you also want lenses that block about 90% of the visible light as well. So if you get lenses that aren't very dark and do not protect against UV, you can actually do more harm. And here's an example of that. These lenses block no UV and they're lightly tinted. So you put those on, your pupils dilate, and you're actually increasing the amount of radiation you're exposing yourself to. So if you're looking for a good pair of sunglasses, it's what, you, you don't want to go to the dollar store, you want to actually go to a place that has <laughs> a reputable brands of uh, You know, sunglasses? One, one of the rules in life is you get what you pay yes. for. So typically, uh, if you're going to invest in a good pair of sunglasses, you will get a nice Nice pair of sunglasses. One of the things I recommend is to make sure they have uh, non glare right, coatings. Pierce, we're running down a break, oh. so we got to go. Great tip. You can drink, eat well, and exercise.